and welcome back to the Scott Ballard Show here on the Warrior Sports Network. I'm now joined by Warrior Senior Abby Bush. Thanks for coming on today. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, Abby, let's talk first of all uh, this weekend, two home games, Sioux Falls and Southwest Minnesota State. You spent the last two weekends on the road starting out the NSIC uh, schedule with three games away from Winona. How nice is it to be back in town and playing in front of your home fans again? Uh, it'll be nice. Um, playing on the road is tough. Being on the bus and traveling and not sleeping in your own bed. So this weekend we'll definitely have the advantage over that. And having three losses already in the conference, it'll be nice to be at home and feel comfortable and hopefully get two wins before we go into Christmas break. Last weekend, uh, games against a pair of ranked opponents, uh, Concordia St. Paul and Minnesota State. Uh, but two games that you were in till the very end. Um, are there any positives that you can draw from those two games? Yeah, I definitely think we can. Um, <clears throat> Friday night was tough. We started off uh, with a great run and being up on Concordia. And we just came out second half slow. The first five minutes definitely killed us and they went on a run and we were down by 10 instantly, but we didn't let it phase us. We came back and had it within one or two with a couple minutes left. And we can feel happy about that because the way we played our first conference game at Upper Iowa, we were definitely not there. We didn't show up. So I guess we got a little conf confidence back playing Friday night and then going into Saturday, which we knew was going to be a tough game. But I think we saw some potential in our team, like what we have the potential to do later on. So hopefully we can show that this weekend against Southwest and Sioux Falls. Offensively, um, it seemed like uh, you really hit some some shots this past weekend. You've gotten open looks all year, uh, but as a team, really able to start knocking down some of those shots. You've played a big part uh, in the offense, scoring 20 points, I think, four times in your first seven games. What has allowed you to be so successful so far uh, offensively? Um, well, I definitely think my role changed a little bit this year. We're looking, we lost a lot of our scores last year, so it's time for everybody to step up and. With Coach, he's been running a lot of plays where it does come through me to give me the opportunity to either shoot or drive, and depending on what they're giving me, because the past couple of years I've been known as a driver, so I've had to step up my game to shoot the ball more this year, but I just think our whole team's come around with being more comfortable in our offense, uh, so we're able to let that shine and kind of bring that out in us, and hopefully this weekend being on our home court, it'll bring it out even more, hitting more shots. Getting to the free throw line is such a big, important part of your game, um, and you're able to get there and then knock down your shots. Um, you know, do you go into a game trying to really initiate some contact and draw fouls and get to the free throw line? Is that something that you consciously do? Um, yeah, Coach says that's a big part of my game, and I agree. But um, it all kind of depends on what they give you. I mean, on Friday night against Concordia, I was shooting more from the outside, so I didn't get to the line as much. But once they kind of took that away for... Kate Hartman and I, we then had the opportunity to drive and even kick too. So, um, yeah, this weekend we didn't shoot near as many free throws as we have in the past. I mean, even with our games against a lot of the D3 schools, but we usually have to just take what they let give us. Mm -hmm. um, last question for you. Uh, the NSIC is such a, a good conference, top to bottom. There's so many good teams. Um, there are a lot of, of new faces on your team, a lot of freshmen, a lot of people who are playing more minutes than they have in the past. Uh, as a senior, what have you done to try to get them to understand uh, just how competitive this league is as you've gotten into conference play? I think the biggest part that the seniors and I, or I guess upperclassmen, have helped them is through practice. Just um, playing each other really tough. Um, I, you can tell they get frustrated, but that's how it's going to be. I mean. Our competition isn't near as what we're going to see in the conference either. So, I mean, us beating up on them a little bit is kind of preparing them for that. And we really need them to get in the swing of it fast because um, if we don't have them, we're not that deep. So, But a lot of them have been stepping up, getting more minutes each game um, when coach feels comfortable. Mm -hmm. So that's good, and we appreciate that. So playing well so far early mm -hmm. in their careers. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a great weekend for Warrior Basketball. Again, Friday night against Sioux Falls, Saturday against Southwest Minnesota State. We hope to see you all there, and we will see you later this week here on the Scott Ballard Show. Coach will be back to talk a little bit about their upcoming opponents.